Good morning. The 8,665th meeting of the Security Council is called to order. The provisional agenda for this meeting is the situation in Somalia. The agenda is adopted. In accordance with Rule 37 of the Council's provisional rules of procedure, I invite the representative of Somalia to participate in this meeting. It is so decided. The Security Council will now begin its consideration of item two of the agenda. Members of the Council have before them document S-2019-880, the text of a draft resolution submitted by the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. I wish to draw the attention of Council members to document S-2019-858, a letter dated the 1st of November 2019 from the Chair of the Security Council Committee pursuant to Resolution 751 of 1992 concerning Somalia and addressed to the President of the Security Council. The Council is ready to proceed to the vote on the draft resolution before it. I shall put the draft resolution to the vote now. Will those in favour of the draft resolution contained in document S-2019-880 please raise their hand. Abstentions? The result of the voting. Those against? The result of the voting is as follows. 12 votes in favour, no votes against, three abstentions. Draft resolution has been adopted as resolution 2498 of 2019. I now give the floor to those members of the council who wish to make statements after the vote. I give the floor to the representative of the Russian Federation. Madam President, the Russian Federation was compelled to abstain during the vote on the draft Security Council resolution for the extension of sanctions against Somalia. We concur with the fact that the situation within that African Horn state remains tumultuous. The, we actively contributed to efforts for uh, identification and uh, clarification of the provisions of the Somali arms embargo. We hope that this and other measures stipulated under the resolution will help to normalize the situation and will help to eradicate a terrorist threat which stems above all from the Al-Shabaab. At the same time, we continue to remain concerned regarding some of the wording in the resolution. Specifically, we believe that it is unjustified for the text of the document of the Security Council on uh, sanctions, uh, the Somali sanctions regime, the, the fact that there is inclusion of wording on Djibouti and Eritrea that is not acceptable. We wish to recall the following. Last year, together with you, we lifted uh, restrictions from Eritrea, and the situation regarding Asmara and Djibouti does not pose a threat to international peace and security. Resolution of the outstanding issues between the countries uh, lies in the realm of bilateral diplomacy. We also regret the fact that the sponsors sought to overburden the document with instructions on the human rights theme. Once again, we reiterate that uh, this is not within the direct purview, neither of the Security Council nor of the Somalia Sanctions Committee. To discuss these matters, there are a, a specific body, that is the Human Rights Council of the United Nations. Once again, we call for there to be adherence to the division of labor. 
Uh, to conclude, I wish to voice our significant concerns in the light of the what has artificially created the timeline in connection with the drafting of the resolution. As a result, council members found themselves in a difficult position. Uh, uh, the, it was important. Uh, the, the, this document had to be agreed upon in an oral regime, and this, uh, despite the fact that it underwent significant substantive changes as compared to last year's text. Our delegations uh, uh, spared no effort to uh, maintain the consensus support for this document, which is of such critical importance for our Somali friends. We deeply regret the fact that uh, this was not heeded. We trust that our British colleagues will draw the necessary conclusions and that the situation will not be repeated. Thank you for your attention. Uh, I thank the Russian uh, Federation for their statement, and I give the floor to the representative of China. Madam President, at present, the situation in Somalia has remained generally stable. The federal government has actively promoted national reconstruction and made important progress in the political, economic, and security sectors. However, the achievement of lasting peace in Somalia remains a challenge. The international community and the Security Council should continue to provide support and assistance to Somalia under the principle of Somalian leadership and ownership. The Council has just adopted Resolution 2498. China actively participated in the consultations on the draft resolution on the mandate renewal of the Somali Sanctions Committee and put forward reasonable recommendations and proposals constructively based on the demands of the country concerned. We have noted the efforts made by the penholder and the improvements of the text, yet regrettably some of our proposals were not adopted. China still has concerns about some of the content and we were compelled to abstain from voting. China believes that the current situation in the Horn of Africa is constantly improving and is at a new stage of development. The relationship between Djibouti and Eritrea did not pose a threat to international and regional peace and security. Both countries are committed to normalizing relations and have made great efforts to this end. The Council and the international community should affirm this and acknowledge their efforts and based on respecting the ownership of the two countries, provide assistance in good faith to avoid imposing a solution, otherwise it will only be counterproductive. On the issue of human rights, China always believes that human rights issues should be discussed in specialized bodies such as the Human Rights Council. The Security Council is not a suitable place to discuss human rights issues. The Council should abide by its mandate and concentrate on issues related to international peace and security, including the work of its subsidiary bodies. The same principle applies. The relevant text of the resolution may set a bad precedent and affect the Council's deliberations on the issue of Somali sanctions. China has reservations about this. China hopes the Council will conduct more extensive consultations on the draft resolutions in future and avoid hastily put it to a vote, therefore achieving the maximum consensus. Thank you, Madam President. I thank the representative of China for his statement. I give the floor to the representative of Equatorial Guinea. Gracias. Thank you, Madam President. This morning, the Security Council has just adopted the resolution through which it renews the sanctions on Somalia. My delegation supports the panel of experts and welcomes its intensive work to contribute to improving the security situation in Somalia and in the Horn of Africa. We encourage it to do its utmost to always work in coordination with Somali authorities. Notwithstanding this, the Republic of Equatorial Guinea has abstained on this resolution since we consider that the negotiation process that led to the adoption of it 
lacked the sufficient breadth to take into account certain important considerations that our delegation shared with certain members. Our request sought to achieve a balanced text that could reflect the different re re suggestions made and that is in accordance with the current political situation in the Horn of Africa. We would have liked un issues that are not directly related with this resolution to not be mentioned within it. Thank you very much. Uh, I thank the representative of Equatorial Guinea for his statement. Uh, there are no more names inscribed. Joe, do you want to speak? There are no further names inscribed uh, on the list of speakers, so the meeting is adjourned.